all you prospectors out there, Commander Kingfish here, and I am back in Icarus. I had stopped playing it for a while just because of all the bugs and the performance issues. And so I have been playing it now a little bit with my level 50 character, trying to figure out uh, what the best settings are. And I am going to give it a try, see how the video turns out. Uh, I am back in, let me just make sure I'm going the right way. Nope, I am going the wrong way. Uh, trying to just see how it will do. It's a fun game, but it's not necessarily for everybody. Some of the things that I have figured out that you really don't, even though you've got a huge tech tree, you don't want to plan on doing a lot of base building, in essence, or buildings, you know. So I am in the Predator mission. Uh, it is the kill list extermination. We're going to go and get one of the targets done. We've got to investigate stuff. And the other thing that I've kind of learned is, yeah, do everything basic. So you're going to see, I'm trying to keep it down to a minimum on the stuttering and whatnot. And if it just doesn't look good, then I'm not going to put this video out. But we're going to give it a shot. So we've got a uh, thing on the map over here, right here, that we've got to investigate. So let's just get that one done. And then, uh, again, I'm not going to build and get much in the way of uh, building. I want to get this collected, uh, get this one done, and then we can start heading away from here back to where we need to, uh, where we're going to probably be spending some more time. So, let's see what we can find over here. Uh, we're in the area. All right, so we just need to kind of keep looking. Once we find this, and I get back away from over here, I think, here it is, I see the blood right there. So here's our first clue. Uh-oh. Good find, but we need more. We've marked another attack site on your map. Okay, I thought I heard a bear. We're going to get back over here by the water. Because I do have a... Well, I see him. Actually, there's the bear. Get over here. See if he starts following. All right, I saw him over there off. There he is. I don't mess with them unless I absolutely have to. So we're going to go ahead and just leave him be. But one of the tricks is utilizing the lake. If I'm close enough to water, I head into the water and uh, I'm able to swim backwards and then just uh, take him out without uh, doing too much damage to myself. Uh, I do want to make, uh, let's make five of those and let's... Uh, Bring up the bow, get our bone arrows. Didn't I make bone arrows? Oh, you know what I did? I thought I made bone arrows. Oh, oh, I didn't craft them. There we go. 
Yeah, there's the bear over there. I saw a wolf over here, so I wanted to get him. We're going to take him out. Let's, uh, there we go. There's my bone arrows. I find bone arrows work. I've done most of my stuff with bone arrows and the long bow that I've crafted out of the crafting bench. The other thing that I wanted to point out as soon as we get out of here Take all of that. The one thing that uh, this game does, if you've got multiple care, uh, you've got the workshop, and you've got multiple characters that you can use or play in the game. Ooh. All right. I didn't necessarily want to run into him. Uh, let's get him skinned out. Uh, so you got multiple characters, and you can... I'm just going to get back up here a little ways. We'll get over here by the drop pod. And I'll show you. So, what I have brought down with me was a campfire that I bought with the other characters. Oh, I have uh, that that needs to go into my inventory. That's faster smooth. I should have gotten something to drink down there. Uh, but, so you have these different things that kind of help you get started. So, I am going to actually run back, get a drink, and I will catch back up with you. Okay, I'm filled up with my water. I want to get a little farther along here, and then I'll kind of give you, I'll kind of show you what, how I usually go about attacking this. Uh, we'll get up by the next uh, thing we've got to identify and get it done. Uh, weather event showers. Uh, let's do something here. Can't, oh, you know what? I haven't unlocked it in here. So, we just got to gather. Uh, it's, since it's just showers, I'm probably going to be able to deal with that. But it would be a matter of just crawling in a, a rock here real quick. If it starts to get to be too serious on the weather. But a lot of the weather, the one that really scares me is flash storms. So I'm not going to worry too much about shelter at this point. We can get into a rock here once it starts to get too serious. But we can kind of speed through some of these missions. When I was playing it before, I didn't fully kind of understand that. You don't have to. You can do both ways. You can sit there and be elaborate and build your uh, places to, to get into. To shelter and whatnot. Uh, I am going to go ahead and make a little bit of a shelter here. And you'll see I got uh, one of the better pickaxes that I had bought in the workshop. Let's see if that's. Yeah. That's all you really need. Once the shower's over, I'll catch back up with you. 
Okay, we are... the shower's about over with. It's gonna be safe to get out there. I see a wolf has uh, come out here just right outside my cave, so we're gonna have to probably deal with him. Okay, we're good. Alright, one of the things I need to do is get some sh get a shelter built. So, let's uh, knock down a tree or two here. And once I uh, get that, I was going to get up to that other clue, but let's, uh, we do need to get some shelter because I need to get, uh, I need to get my oxygen bottle or oxygen tank filled up. And I can't do that without making a crafting bench. So, we'll get this wood going here. Now let's do this real quick. We need to get some food going. We need to deploy this. This is supposed to be like a campfire. Alright, let's F to interact. Let's uh, split that, put some wood in there. And we can... Uh, Let's activate that, and let's get some food going. We can uh, destroy that. Destroy that. All right, now let's finish getting this chopped up. Okay, once I get to where I'm building my shack, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, let's see what we can build here. Uh, I am back. I managed to get some nourishment. I've picked up a little bit of oxide. Uh, but let's, uh, let's get some crafting done here. I have a specific thing that I do here. I get six of these pillars, wood beams... Let's craft those, and then two floors, we'll get that into the queue, we'll be moving along here, we'll let those get done. Uh, the other thing that I do have to do is get a crafting table built. I thought I saw some more over here. I did. All right, let's check. Okay, we got those. I need six walls. All right, let's craft six of those. I might have to... Uh, chop another tree down here pretty soon. Okay. Uh, that's six of those. Yeah, I do need... Uh, I need more wood, and I'm going to need some more fiber. So let's... Uh, Okay. Alright, once I get uh, the rest of this tree chopped up and I get a little closer to where we need to go, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I've got some more of the, I got that tree chopped down and we're getting close to where we, we need to. I was kind of moving forward. Let's, uh, there's another wolf. We'll let him kind of walk off. Let's finish getting my structure built. I need two of those, two roof pieces. 
And I need four of these. And that should do it. So we'll be able to throw a building down. And, uh... I might as well build my crafting bench right now, too. Alright. So. Let's, uh... Keep moving forward. There is... I do need to get some sulfur. Oh, there we go. That's what I was looking for. And hopefully... Hopefully we'll find some sulfur here pretty quick. By the way, that looks like a cave entrance right there. Although I'm not going to worry about that. I don't need to worry about anything more than what I can do uh, crafting uh, with what I currently have for blueprints and stuff. Uh-oh. All right. How much did we go over? Uh, let's do this. Let's see if that will start reducing. Uh, let's go right up here. I think it's getting time to kind of build our shelter. So, I don't like to waste resources, so let's do this. Uh, let's deploy. And you can kind of see how I basically just do a simple little shelter. And we will pick these up once we're ready to head out. This will give us the ability to... What? There we go. Give us the ability to sleep through the night so that we're not stuck out here in the middle of the night. Uh, and I might as well put that in there. Uh, let's deploy that. It's our walls. Oh, oops. Well, I guess I better remember to do it on this one. Better put a door in there. And let's, uh, basically all we're doing is just making a, a simple little A-frame here. And let's deploy these others. How happened here? All right, well, let's do this. Oh, I know what it is. All right. There we go. That works. All right, and then we can deploy our crafting bench. Put that there. Uh, we'll put our camp stove just right outside here. Uh, the other thing we need to do, which I forgot, was craft a door right there. Let's craft that. Okay. Let's deploy it. There we go. Uh, all right. Let's uh, get this going. And activate it. And we should be able to lay this down. And it's shelter. Let's uh, let's get to morning. There we go. It's 7 a.m. 
and we didn't have to deal with that uh, nighttime stuff. Better get something to eat. And let's deactivate that. Let's grab our wood out. And then we can pick this up. We're going to pick all of this other stuff all up. Oh, showers. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's pick the bedroll up. We will actually do a spawning point once we get down to where we want to build by the lake. Let's see if we if I can build it here. I need... Oh! I don't have the blueprints with this yet. Textiles... Oh, wow. Well, I guess we're not going to be using the oxygen tank. Alright. I do have some talent points to use, but that's not going to help me. Let's see, how close are we? Oh, we got a little ways to go, so we're going to have to level up. Uh, let me just see something on the tech tree. Tier 2. Rain Reservoir. Yeah, I got to unlock that. Okay, well, we will get to that. Uh... Well, that was the main purpose of this, so let's go ahead and just uh, pick this up. And we'll start picking everything up here. Once I'm ready to travel and we're, uh, we're getting close to that next place to investigate... So I'll catch back up with you once I'm ready to tear this down and we're actually moving forward. Okay, I am ready to head out. I did hear while I was waiting for the storm to pass, I did hear a bear and I did see him. So we're going to have to be a little cautious here. Uh, I'm almost to where we need to look. Once I get over to where I need to search, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I think I'm in the area. I'm just kind of keeping a close eye out for that bear. Alright. Yeah, we're kind of in the center of it. Oh, here it is. Yep. Okay. Looks like the work of the same animal. <laughs> Something riled it up. If you can confirm another site, the assembly's bots should be able to zero in on the general location of its den. We've marked one more attack report on your map. All right. That's right there. Okay, well, let's start heading in that direction. One thing I have done is I've tried to tweak this down as much as I can so that we don't get the stuttering and stuff. 
But there's still going to be a little bit here and there. Alright, when I get down to where I am going to set up camp, I'll catch back up with you. Okay, I'm about to where I want to set up camp. And I uh, am still in the storm, but we're going to be fine right over here. So let me get our shelter built. Uh, I'm going to put it in right here. I think this will be just fine. So just like before, I carried it with me. So let's deploy. Well, we shouldn't have to move again. This should be our last spot. Now, see if I can remember to do this right. I always like putting the door right there. see the bear over across the way. That's uh, just dandy. This is a wonderful spot. All right. Bear staying over there. We can go ahead and deploy this. get this onto the fire. Now supposedly this can cook in anything. And it looks like it is. Let's get the rest of this deployed. As soon as that storm passes, let's look at the map. Uh, as soon as the storm passes, then we can kind of work our way up to there. We're going to have to be careful since that bear is about. Looks like that uh, little uh, campfire is going to work out pretty well. Where'd that bear head off to? Okay, well, I think while we are, let me close that up. Actually, let's do this. Not that it's doing me much good. I've gotten so used to playing with my level 50 character that, that I just took some of this stuff for granted. Put that there. 
Because if we look at it, I don't have much in the way of... Oh, I hear the bear. All right. I need to see where he's at. Where is he? This is done. Let's deactivate this. We'll go ahead and grab this. All right, I am going to start working my way up to where that next item is, or the next thing we have to uh, verify, the next attack zone. And I will catch back up with you once I get there, unless something, unless something crazy happens along the way. Okay, I am almost where we need to do some investigating. There it is right there. It's going to be right up ahead of us. Not too far ahead. I kind of had to take my time because that bear is out and about. I could hear him. Uh, I also had to run back and set a spawn point just in case. And you just heard we just walked into the area. Let's see where it's at. I think we'll pick these pumpkins on the way back. All right, we're kind of into it. Uh, well, it's not going to be up, up and in there. So let's just start. Oh, I think I see it right over here. Here's a pile of bones. Oh boy, I keep hearing things, like a bear. All right, let's get this done. There it is. Nasty. But that's everything we need. Assembly's bots ain't the best, but they've got to guess where it's bedding down. See if you can find its den and end this. So, here's the thing. Locate the den on the map at nightfall. So, that is... where is it? It should be... It should have shown up right here. Or maybe it won't actually, you know what, if I remember correctly, it's not going to show up until nightfall. Let's pick these. And let's see if we can get back to the lake. And I'll tell you what, when I, once I get back to the lake and the cabin, I'll catch back up with you all. Okay, I've made it back down to the lake. And we didn't run into any trouble along the way, which is a good thing. So I think what I need to do is... I need to craft up some arrows, a bunch of arrows actually, I think, which means I might have to do a little bit of hunting. Uh, and I do need to make a better bow. All 
All right. So first things first, I need wood. Huh. All right, let's go chop a tree down. Where's one that's kind of handy? Oh, you know what I need to do? I need to see if I can... I haven't bothered to make any armor. Okay. Okay, there's that. Uh, I think I actually need to make a textiles bench. And I can do that. Let's craft that up. And I need to craft that bow. Okay. Oh, more showers, that's okay. All right. Uh, actually, I need to, let's uh, pick this up and move it out of the way. All right, let's grab our text, well, let's grab our bow. And then let's grab this so that we can deploy it. Five. Maybe on this side. Okay. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't have anything but the only thing I can craft. You know what? We don't need this. This character is a lot weaker than I thought it was, but that's okay. Let's put this back over here. Out of the way. Uh, we can leave the crafting bench right there. Alright, so the only thing we can really craft is this stuff. Well, we might as well do it. And I'm going to need to gather some more fiber. Well, I tell you what, we got a little ways before dark fall. And uh, I need to gather up some more thatch so I can at least put a grass skirt on. So I'll catch up with you once, once nightfall has gotten here. Okay, I just heard the wolves, but I need to get some more bone so that I can make a bunch of arrows. All right. I also heard that bear. Let's gather up all this stuff. Get this bone. Oh, here he is. Okay, you kind of get to see how I deal with these bears. There he is. That's how, that's how you deal with these bears. Oh, great. I got 
uh, the fish biting at me too. We'll grab those fish, might as well. At least... All right, let's hope that I've got enough here. Let's get this going. Let's activate this, get all of that uh, meat going. And let's see how many arrows we can make. We might as well, we got to do the max. Craft 22. I don't know if that's enough or not. Oh, I think I just leveled up, though. I did. That's a good thing, actually. Okay. Uh, let's see how many of these I can make. Thirteen. I don't think that is enough, but let's, uh, we've got the bear out of the way. Let's get some more rock, and we can... Make a bunch of uh, arrows using rock. We'll use up the bone arrows first. And of course there's a weather event. Fiber, of course. Grab a bunch of that. Tell you what, once I am ready to head up there, I will uh, catch back up with you. All right, well, as you can see, it's nightfall. The storm's over with. Uh, we heard the howling. So this is where I've got to go to. Uh, I will, once I start getting close up there, I will catch back up with you and we can see what, uh, see if we can uh, take out this predator. All right, I'll see you up there. Okay, I am just about ready to head into here. You probably saw that I was in stealth mode because as I was coming up, I did hear a bear. Uh, I think this is my rock. Here's one of the tricks that I've learned. We need to stir him up, stir the beast up, and, and then we come charging down to this rock down here. It's about the only way I figured out how to handle handle this guy. But let's uh, do this. Ah, here it starts. See if we can. I 
Alright, those are some good ones. Problem is, he's going to... Alright. Oh, there he goes. We've got to go and get him out of his den. Okay. Uh oh. Damn it. There we go. Where is he? Okay, we're getting it. Oh, don't go running off. I right, went in his other den. Take one of these. Okay. We got him. You almost made that look easy. Yeah, right. Okay. Almost. Good right. kill. Well, that's the mission. Good work down there. I'd say you're done. All right, let's take all of if that. You're looking to earn the assembly trust. You're doing it. And that's not easy. 
Oh man, there's a bear over there. Great. My arrow, my bow is broken. Okay, let's craft one of these. He was walking that away. Let's see if we can get back to the cabin. We should be heading towards the lake, and we are. <sighs> All right, I think we're by him. All right, I will catch up with you at the lake. Okay, I've made it back down to the lake. Uh, I went ahead and got a little bit of sleep to get into the next day, so it's daylight. Uh, we did, as you can see, we got a storm that's just passing, and one of the things that uh, kind of failed to mention in all the chaos was that we got a whole bunch of prime meat. Uh, and, uh, well, the mission's over with, so it doesn't really do you a lot of good, but I'll show you. Uh, matter of fact, we can deactivate this. We're not going to cook all of that. Uh, we're just going to drop it on the ground because we're going to start heading back. But, grab the prime meat, and it gives you a, a real buff. So, if you consume it you get a whole bunch more health and uh, stamina I believe yeah it gives you much it gives you more stamina uh, more health faster health regeneration a plus five experience gained so not sure why but uh, we might as well get rid of the rest of this stuff I don't want to leave my camp stove behind so we'll do all of this, and let's destroy that, destroy that. We'll grab the wood out of here, and then we can pick up our camp stove. If I forget it and leave it, then I gotta buy a new one when I get back up to the station. So, what, oh, crap. All right, we might as well get a little XP here. Need to at least skin him out. There we go. Alright, we're not going to take any of that. We don't need it. Uh, I'll grab this. I don't know why. And we're going to start making the mad dash back to Back to the dropship. So, I don't think you want to see me doing a running simulator. So, I'll catch back up with you once I hit the dropship. Okay, I am just about back to the dropship. There it is. I've had to kind of sneak around a couple of bears to get back here uh, and let me just double check my inventory uh, there is my campfire stove my oxygen bottle my water bottle my dampener module my uh, backpack and so I should have seven items. One, two, three, 
four, five, six, seven. Okay. Well, let's end this mission. All right, return to the station. Yes. So, that was the kill list extermination. We managed to, to do that. It, obviously, it, we had plenty of time. I've never done the hardcore ones. Uh, at least not with uh, a low level character. I might try it with the higher level character. But, we're here. So, let's uh, select our character. And let's collect our re claim our reward. There we go. And we can delete that. We now have $300. All right. Well, I hope that you enjoyed it, that this was entertaining for you, that uh, you learned a few things, a, a, a trick or two. Uh, again, Icarus is uh, its not a persistent, and that's kind of the frustrating thing for me in that you build everything, and then you just got to leave it behind. So I have, I've gotten into the point where as you can see, I just do a simple A-frame, and that's my shelter uh, to get around with. If I have to, there are some missions that you got to build up to maybe stone walls, but, you know, uh, you, you do it. Uh, otherwise, you don't get too technical with all of this stuff. So, anyway, hope you enjoyed it. Uh, hit that thumbs up. Uh, please subscribe if you like the channel. There's a lot of stuff on there. And with that, Commander Kingfish is out of here, and I will see you all in the next video.